All right, welcome back, guys. It's Thursday. You know what that means. We're going to get you moving, get you breathing. Hopefully, you got your six pack from Coach Maddie yesterday. We got Zach in the front, we got Allie, we got Maddie in the back. Biggest thing, most important thing is going to be to get you warmed up. We've got a little bit more space here. If you're going to stay in your living room, you can. Coach Maddie's going to jog in place to get it moving. But Zach and Allie, give me a lap real quick. We're going to go through some dynamic stuff. Let's get it, guys. Good, just about 30 seconds of heart rate acceleration. Get your blood pumping a little bit. We'll go through a little dynamic warm up, nice and easy. Good. Let everybody get reset for a second. We're gonna use a five yard window here. All the coaches are gonna warm up coming towards me. Same normal, typical dynamic we'd walk you through in a given workout, but first thing you got, we're going floor sweep. So standing heel to toe and just pushing the turf. Step three times, change your lead foot. We're going five yards, ready? Trying to get three reps on each leg, three reps on each leg. Good, front leg should stay stiff. Your back knee can bend a little bit, shoot your hips back. Good, go ahead and walk it, bigger. just walk it back and then we'll restart, just walk it back. Good, next stretch is gonna be a standing hip stretch. So taking your typical lunge position, which is normally under your hips, double your base with your front leg and then push your back heel forward. So step up, step out, and then push your hip. Going five. You get three reps on each leg. Good, you can go a little bit beyond five yards, just make sure and get three reps on each side, then walk it back. Good, next one's gonna be an IT band stretch, so we're gonna take our ankle, bring it up on top of our thighs, and with a little bit of knee bend, you're just trying to push your butt back towards the wall, pause for a second. Hold it for a second, take a couple steps, change your lead foot. Three on each leg. Good, walk it back, one more station. All right, so last thing we're doing, you're gonna do three inchworm repetitions. So toe touch down, Zach, why don't you do the first one for us? So toe touch down, and then walk your hands out as far as you can. Pause for a second, tiptoe back up. Stop there for just a second. So once you finish your third rep, kick your feet back just a little bit. Once you finish your third rep, we're gonna go straight into 10 heel taps. Okay, so in that position, you're just gonna elevate one foot and then lower the heel. Okay, stretch your calves out. All right, so starting on the line, we're doing three inchworms, finishing your third rep, you can kick back into that kind of downward dog position, is that right? And yeah, and then we'll go into 10 heel taps, right? Pause for a second, come back up in between, finish your third rep, 10 heel taps. Great job. Once you're done, take a second to shake out. We're going to go ahead and get your heart rate up one more time. So, Maddie, you can stay put. Zach and Allie, give us one more lap real quick. All right, 10 more seconds. Keep moving. Make your way back if you're uh, running laps around the staircase. Good. All right, guys, today's gonna be fun, but before we get started, I just wanna take a second. It's gonna be a little bit different than what you've seen previously. So today, we're not doing any circuits. You're gonna do one station at a time. What I'm gonna encourage you to do, a lot of you guys are watching our videos and following along on the app. What I want you to do, you're gonna work one station at a time, okay? Don't look at the whole menu and see everything you got coming. I want you to stay in your lane, one, one play at a time, one quarter at a time. 
So what we're gonna do, each station will be two minutes of work, and then you'll have 60 seconds of rest before the next station starts. Like I said, I don't want you to know what you got coming after you get done. I want you to live in the moment and give everything you got for two minutes, and then hopefully that 60 seconds of rest time is exactly what you need to get back to an operating level, okay? So honor system, one station at a time, no one looks ahead on the workout. What this is gonna do is it's gonna force you to mentally check in a little bit more than we normally have. A lot of times your body tells your brain, hey, I'm tired, I need to shut it down, when in actuality, your mind is your only handcuff, okay? So physically, you are capable of a lot more than your brain gives you credit for, all right? So today, Zach's not gonna need to demo a whole lot because we're just working one station at a time. Before we get started though, I will tell you some of the equipment you'll need. So once I talk through it, you can pause it and go grab that equipment. We're gonna do some step ups and we're also gonna sit on our box at some point. So you can get a chair, you can get a box, you can use your couch, that's fine. We're gonna do some jump rope right off the bat, but we can also regress that to an ollie tap or a toe touch, a hopscotch. And then the last piece of equipment we have, we're using sliders because we're on carpet. If you're on tile or hardwood, you can use a towel. If you have carpet, but you don't have a set of sliders, maybe something laminated like a magazine or a piece of paper will work the same way. And then Maddie's actually gonna do a body weight version, okay? So pause it if you don't have that equipment set up yet. Take a second and go grab it. All right, we're getting ready to roll. First thing we're doing is gonna be two minutes of jump rope. Okay, so get your rope. You don't really need a demonstration here. Coach Maddie is gonna demonstrate some Ali taps. She's just gonna keep her body moving, okay? If you get to a point where this is counterproductive, maybe your shins are killing you, you can lay down and do flutter kicks as a regression, all right? But two minutes of work, nonstop, and you get 60 seconds of rest, okay? If you're at home, do not look at your app just yet. We're going one station at a time. Trust me, here we go. Ready, three, two, one. <laughs> Out of way, out of way, out of way. You got it, come on now, come on. One minute, let's go. Come on now, you got it. Yeah, undefeated. Come on now, let's work a little bit. Get some blood pumping. Ten seconds. Come on now. Three, two, one. Great job. All right, set your ropes down. One down. Get you a little swig if you need it. You're going to want to keep your water close by today. If you ever need to pause, we'll allow it, but you have exactly 60 seconds in between stations, and the goal is for that to be the exact amount of rest time you need, okay? Next station we've got, you're gonna stay on your feet. We're using five yards of turf space. You don't need much, okay? Even if you've got a huge backyard or living room, probably 15 feet's all you're gonna want, because anything more than that, your exercise is gonna get watered down. Zach, why don't you demonstrate for us? We're doing typewriters. So fast feet, slow arms. He's gonna get his feet chopping, and his arms are just moving real slow and controlled. Okay, you can tell he's not progressing, he's not covering much ground, okay? In 10, sorry, five yards, it's probably gonna take you 10 or 12 seconds to get that distance. Turn around, walk it back, give yourself a couple seconds to shake out. If I'm working for 10, I'm probably gonna wanna rest for 10, okay? We are starting in 10 seconds. Typewriters, we're going five yards here. Get your feet moving, slow arms. Three, two, one. 
Good, a lot of touches. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo! Shake it out, walk it back. Take 10 seconds. Make sure you guys don't try and keep up with your feet. If you've ever run through a speed ladder, your arms are mimicking your legs. That's not what we're doing here. Your feet are gonna be moving far faster than your arms. Nice and slow arm action. There we go, there we go, come on. Like this lane right here, that's what you want right there. You want a little turf lane. If your carpet doesn't have lines in it, you might not have done it right. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, baby. Woo! Feel like you got fire ants in your shoes. Come on, 30 seconds. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Come on now. Chop them up, chop them up, let's go, 10 seconds. Come on, no smiles. Three, two, one. Good, great job. All right, I promised. One minute in between stations so you can breathe a little bit. I'm gonna talk. If you know for a fact you're not gonna hear a word I'm saying, now's your chance to pause. But next thing we're doing, we're just gonna alternate sets of 10, starting on your back. You wanna demo just one bicycle crunches and then flip over onto your hands, mountain climbers. You don't gotta do more than a couple. But knees to elbows, we've all done bicycles before. Roll over on your hands. We're gonna go mountain climbers, okay? So driving your knees into your elbows. That's all we're doing. You'll do sets of 10 on each side. So 10 each on bicycles, flip over. 10 each on mountain climbers. Take two deep breaths and then start from the top. You guys have 20 seconds. 20 seconds and we're rolling. You might need to vacuum your carpet after you get done. Good job, Maddie. I apologize if you guys are wearing uh, tread on your shoes. You got good shoes. Drop it down. We're starting in bicycles. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Three. Two, one. Good, keeping a steady work pace right here. Just moving the whole two minutes. Let's go. That away. Come on now. Come on now. What's that? Keep it up, guys. Come on now. Let's go. Once you finish your round, use that as a chance to take a deep breath in. Give yourself a little bit of breathe time. That away. Good job, guys. Smooth and steady. Come on, give me 30 seconds of work. Let's work. Ten seconds. Come on, finish this set. Three, two, one. 
Solid work. Three down. All right, stand up, breathe. Biggest thing here, guys, keep your head up, keep your hands up. Try and avoid being hunched over if you can. All right, moving on. Next station, you're gonna do five pulse squats, which is basically just the bottom range of motion. So still sitting through your heels, but five bottom half squats, keeping tension. After your fifth squat, you'll do one full squat and then just spread it out. We're gonna jog up five yards. So if you've got space in your living room, we're just gonna alternate one set on the goal line, one set on the five. Okay, that'll just keep you from standing still the whole two minute circuit. If you're a little bit landlocked, you don't have to move. We're just gonna do it so we don't get stagnant keeping our feet locked in the same position the whole time. If you got a huge backyard, get a wind sprint in between sets. But five pulse squats, stand up out of your last full squat, and then jog five yards. We are starting in 10 seconds. Get your mind right. Making sure you can still sit back through your heels. Typical squat stance is gonna be somewhere around shoulder width. If you need to angle your toes out to keep good hip mobility, please do it. Here we go, guys. Ready, three, two, one. Good, bottom half, sit through your heels. Five of them, jog it up five yards. Come on, come on, come on. I don't do the most, but I do a lot, though. I'm gonna make a toast, cause we still alive, so. No big, I feel like pop. Halfway, let's go. Crank it up a little bit. Come on now. Oh boy, Zach. Good job. Way to work. Come on now. Good, Maddie. Good, Allie. 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds. Ten seconds, come on, let's go. Three, two, one. Hey, great job, bring it back to the start. Get a swig of water, next station we got coming. You're gonna stay put this whole time. We're gonna face the weight room, but just so you can see your demo, Zach, why don't you stay facing this direction. On the line, you're gonna be going sideways, single leg jabs, 10 on each leg. So in a good quarter squat position, over and back is one. You're gonna get 10 reps on your right leg, 10 reps on your left leg, and then take a couple deep breaths and rerun it. Okay, so if you wanna tally up in your head how many sets you're getting, that's awesome. If you want me to call out numbers, I'll give you time checks every 20 seconds. Okay, but the goal is just constant motion, right? I don't want this to turn into conditioning where you're moving like this, right? I want it to be nonstop sets. Okay, quick as you can, and then if you need a couple seconds in between, I'd rather that then move at 60% intensity, but never stop. Cool? All right, two minutes on the clock. Guys, let's face the weight room, facing the weight room. Okay, so we're gonna start on the right side of our line. So you're going left leg jabs. Here we go in three, two, one. Good quarter squat, quick as you can. Just six inch jabs, you're not moving much, six inches. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Two deep breaths and then start over. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. How do I, Maddie? Come on. Good, Zach. Good, Allie. Keep them up. Both feet are moving. It's like you're running in place. Both feet are moving. There we go. Good, good, good. Come on, 
A lot of touches. Come on now. One minute. Let's go. There it is. There it is. Good arm action. That away. Keep moving. Let's go. Let's go. 30 seconds. Let's work. That away. Two more rounds, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Big jam. Spanish remix. Yeah. Yo, Saga. Yo, Jalen. Uh. Ten seconds. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. Hit it. Three, two, one. Good. Shake your legs out a little bit. All right. I don't know if it's getting harder, but I know one thing's for sure. It's not getting easier. Next thing we got, we're going to face the weight room again. Good athletic position, quarter squat. You're going to side shuffle. So go ahead and mark some space on your car. Or if you got a, a carpet or garage, wherever you're at, we're using five yards in here because we've got our turf lines. But put something down as a visual aid so you know how far to get. For us, it's probably two and a half to three side shuffles, depending on limb length. But go ahead and demo for us. We're just doing pickups. So shuffle left, touch with your hand, shuffle back, touch with your hand, get a good squat when you touch the line so you're not bending at the waist, but you're bending with the knee, okay? Down and back is one, count your reps nonstop for two minutes, all right? 15 feet is five yards. If you've got a tape measure, you want to measure off on the floor, but we got 10 seconds and we're rolling. So quick swig of water, get your mind right. Okay, when you start getting tired, make sure you're not gonna forward fold down to the line, sink your hips. Here we go, facing the weight room, side shuffles, five and back, three, two, one. There we go, that away. Let's go, let's go. That away. Sink those hips when you get tired. Sink those hips. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One minute, let's go. Come on now, one minute. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 30 seconds, come on. Woo! That a baby. Good job, Maddie. Come on, keep it up. Keep moving. That way, Zach. Good alley. Let's go. Ten seconds, guys. Ten seconds. And three, two, one. Woo! That song was well timed. Hey. Breathe a little bit, stay tall. Sorry about that. Next station you've got, you're gonna be seated on your box. Go ahead and take a seat. Sorry about that, all right. So we're doing sets of 10 single leg knee drives. The reason we're using the box and not the ground is that it allows us the angle to be a little bit steeper. So you can use your hands, hold on to your box if you need to, but lean back just a little bit, and we're going one leg at a time. So single leg knee drives, and one thing we'll actually cue is go ahead and aim towards the floor, okay? Because when you have a little bit of a downward angle, you're gonna get more extension out of your hip, and you'll be able to trigger your lower abs a little bit more than you would otherwise if we were just sitting on the ground. And if I keep talking, maybe Zach will keep demoing, all right? But 10 on your right leg, 10 on your left leg, find a box, something that's probably about 12, 18 inches off the ground. 
and then angle your heels towards the ground. We're starting in 10. Here we go, ready, three, two, one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good, smooth and steady, kick that foot towards the floor. That away, that away. Good, Allie, way to work. Come on now, come on now, let's go. Atta baby. Yeah. Good job. Let's go. Let's go. Try and get full extension, especially when you start getting tired. It's okay to lean a little bit to get that leg all the way out. Thirty seconds, guys. Let's go. Ten seconds. Finish. Come on, last leg. Let's go. Three, two, one. Woo, stand it up. Shake your legs out. Keep your hands on your head. If you need to get some air, keep your head upright. All right, like I said, I don't think it's getting easier. I can't guarantee it's getting harder, but I know it's not getting easier. Next thing, we're gonna use our five yards of turf space again, just to keep from, uh, from getting too bored with a stationary station. Not yet, well, almost, almost. Okay. That's the good part, that's coming. All right, so what we'll do is we'll do three reps at a time. We're gonna do a high plank to a vertical jump. And I know there's a word that you guys, it starts with a B, there's a B word that you guys typically associate with. It's not exactly what we're doing, but drop to push up position, get up and get as big of a vert jump as you can, okay? It's not so much for repetition. I don't wanna see 125 reps. I wanna see three max effort, get high, explode up off the ground reps, and then you can jog a couple seconds and we'll move line to line. Okay, so three on our start line, three on our finish line. Hopefully you already put some tape down from your pickups, your side shuffles, we can just reuse those. Okay, so high plank to max effort jump. If that's gonna start being an issue for your lower back and you wanna stay in plank, you can. But biggest thing here is we're just trying to explode. All right, we're trying to be forceful through the ground. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one. Good, big vert jump, get up there, reach. Block a shot, come on. Good, three at a time. Out of way, out of way, out of way, let's go. Get up there. Good, way to work. Come on now, get up there. Great job, guys, come on. Take a couple seconds in between, take a breath. Woo, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Good, Allie, that way, Zach, come on, come on. Come on, let's work a little bit. Let's go, Maddie, let's go. We got 30 seconds, come on, 30 seconds. Give me what you got right here.
Got to move. Got to move. Ten seconds, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one. Woo. Hey, home stretch. We got two more stations. I know I told you just to look one ahead at a time. We got two more and we're home. So give me what you got right here. Don't save anything. Don't leave anything in the tank. All right, Zach tried to give it away last round. If you've got sliders, if you've got a paper plate, if you've got a towel, okay? We've done this series a couple weeks ago, but we did it in a Tabata segment. What that meant, I think Coach Greg put us through it. We did 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for two minutes. We're taking out the 10 seconds of rest. So you're going two minutes nonstop. You're going to put the sliders on your hands or the towel on your hands, push it forward 15 feet or five yards. Once you hit the line, step forward. Hang on now, facing the same way. Facing the same way, toes go on the sliders. You're going to be in push-up position where alligator walking backwards. Backwards, backwards, yeah. So pushing on your hands for five, and then backwards alligator walk for five. That can regress to any variation of a front plank. If you want to go elbows down, you want to go knees bent to a bulldog plank, anything that keeps your core engaged. And if you want to kind of meet in the middle, what you can do, you're more than welcome to bear crawl forwards and backwards. Just work on keeping your back as flat as you can, very deliberate with your motion. All right, two minutes of work. Here we go. Get your sliders, get your towels, get your mind right. Starting in three, two, one. Good. Forwards five, feet go onto the sliders, backwards five. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. That'll baby, don't let your body stop. Keep moving the whole time, let's go. Good job, guys. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. 10 seconds. Bring it home. Three, two, one. Woo! Atta baby, stand it up, stand it up, stand it up. We got one more station. Great job, breathe a little bit. If you absolutely need extra rest, you can pause it, but we're working in about 30 seconds. Last thing you've got, you have your box. If you have a chair or a couch, whatever it is, hopefully it's a flat enough surface where you're not gonna jeopardize your ankle stability, but you're gonna do one reverse lunge, okay? And then that back foot is gonna be the leg that goes into the step up. Okay, so reverse lunge into a step up and making sure you remember which leg you do so that we can alternate because the last thing you want is to get an uneven amount. So if I'm dropping my right leg, I'll do my reverse lunge. My right leg does a step up and then when I step back down, I'll switch. Okay, two minutes, this is it. Okay, this is our last station, I promise. There's no secrets, there's no tricks, there's no hidden agenda. Finish this and we are home free, I promise. Here we go, we're starting in 10. Reverse lunge into a step up. We're gonna alternate legs, guys. Ready? Three. Two, one. Good, big knee drive at the top. Make sure and get that whole foot on your box or your chair, especially if you're not on a super flat surface like a couch. Come on now, let's work a little bit. Temptations of trying to 
Oh, baby, come on now. Good job, guys. Let's go. One minute, we're home. Come on now. Keep it up, almost there. Find an extra gear for the last 30 seconds. Let's go, come on now, speed it up, let's work. Ten seconds, guys. Let's go. Woo! Three, two, one. Hey, congratulations. You made it. Last thing we're going to do, we're going barefooted cool downs. We did it last week. It's going to be a similar version. We're going to use about a 10-yard stretch of turf. If you've got more space, you can. It's just going to be 30-second intervals. So you're going to jog. We'll just use 10 yards in back. We're going to jog 10 in back for 30 seconds. So you may get a couple trips in. And then I'll give you a 30-second dynamic stretch you can do on the move. Okay? Cue I didn't tell you, though, is while you're jogging, we're going to try and stay off our heels if we can. So just on the balls of your feet, nice and easy barefoot jog, kind of like you're running in sand. Really feel your toes grip into the floor. Okay, so 30 seconds, it should be the slowest possible jog without it actually constituting a walk, right? So you're moving, but very, very slow and deliberate. Ready? 30 seconds, nice and easy, just 10 yards in back. Good, stay on the balls of your feet if you can. Once I give you a whistle, you guys are going to do knee pulls walking for 10 yards. So you can keep your lane that you've been jogging in and just start changing over to knee pulls. Good. All right, 10 yards walking knee pulls for 30 seconds. So every time we do a dynamic stretch, we're going to alternate back to that slow motion jog. So even if you finish your 10 yards, keep moving. You got another 15 seconds. Solid work today, guys. Use this as an opportunity to let your heart rate settle, but not just laying down and going to resting immediately. It kind of actively cools down. All right, ready? Jog it out. Nice and easy. Stay off your heels if you can. You can maximize your space so you can stay put, but same holds true. Stay off your heels. Good, going into a walking quad pull, walking quad pull, ready? Ten seconds. Three, two, one, jog it out. Two more times. Next thing we're gonna go into in about 10 seconds will be a crossover toe touch, right leg lead, hang down, get a good stretch, take three steps, change your lead foot. Crossover toe touch, guys.
Ten seconds. Good, Maddie. All right, jog it out. We got one more station. Last time right here. Way to work, guys. Finish it up. Last thing we're going to do, guys, will be a toe pull. So narrow stance like we did sweeping the floor, warming up. You're just going to grab your foot, twist it side to side. Toe pull, last stretch. Good. Narrow stance, heel to toe. Stretching leg should be straight. Twist it out. Ten seconds and we're home. Three, two, one. Hey, solid job, guys. Bring it back in. Way to work. Really proud of y'all. I know it was a little bit different format. It was like that for a reason. Hopefully, the mental toughness that you had to kind of sit through today is a little bit eye-opening. Not saying that you underachieve most days, but nine times out of ten, your mind is the only thing keeping you from reaching a level of performance that you've never reached before, okay? We are all physically capable of substantially more than we give ourselves credit for. So that was the idea today is just look one step ahead, live in the moment in that two minute kind of blackness, that little the pain cave you had to go to. Excellent job. We're proud of y'all. Let's go team on three. All right. Can't do it without you guys. We love you. We miss you. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Thanks guys. Come back tomorrow. Let's get it.